guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going... <laughs> what, honey? <laughs> Cheese? Yeah, in just one minute. I am attempting to film a cleaning video because my house is a, like literally a disaster. Um, but as you can see here, I have a four week old baby who constantly wants to eat today and after every feed, she poops. So I probably changed her like six times today. <laughs> so every time I try and put her for a nap, she wakes up because she poops after eating. So, and then she wants to eat because she pooped. So I am going to try and get stuff done today. Um, my mom is coming shortly. It's almost lunchtime. I know I'm going to be able to get a lot more done once Olivia goes down for a nap, my second oldest. Um, and then when usually in the afternoon Reese, this is little Reese here. She has a good nap in the afternoon, so I know I'll be able to get more done, but my house is a disaster and there's this funky smell somewhere in my kitchen and it's driving me crazy because I don't know what it is. <sighs> like it's literally driving me crazy. So I've got laundry to do. I've got to clean up the kitchen. I have to vacuum upstairs, do the bedding, dust the girls' rooms. I'd like to dust down here, try and organize some stuff. It's wash the floors, vacuum. I literally have a million things to do. So hopefully we can get it all done today. Um, if not, this might be a couple of, she wants to eat again. She's looking for, I just fed you. Yeah, she got to eat again. <laughs> it's so hard to get stuff done with three kids, but you know what? We all have to give ourselves some grace and just do like a little bit at a time. If it takes us a few days, who cares? Like whatever, you'll never get these days back. So um, if I find myself, cause I tend to get anxiety when my house is a mess or out of order. It's just my nature. I don't like it and it just, it gives me anxiety. So what helps me is to listen to music. Um, that really helps like calm me down or exercise really helps. Although I'm not clear to exercise just yet cause I'm only four weeks postpartum or post C-section but I'm gonna throw some music on and try and clean up before we have lunch and I have to clean up again after lunch. So let's try and get this done. <laughs> I'm gonna do this vlog style cause I find voiceovers are just too difficult to film right now. So the first thing I always like to do if I'm tackling the kitchen is fill up the sink with soap and throw the dishes in there. That way it's all cleared off and it just makes me feel better to have them soak. Then I have to empty the dishwasher and I have to clean under the sink because there is a smell, like I said, and it's driving me nuts. So I need to find out what it is because no. I can't stand it. I was at the wrong place at the right time because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down So I'm just gonna be using these Clorox wipes for like the bathroom and for underneath the sink and just to disinfect. Um, I just like using that once in a while. For all other cleaning, I use the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface. This is the concentrate. So I put it in a spray bottle like this. I actually am finished this one. Um, this was also a lemon natural cleaner, but it's gone now. So I fill it up a little bit with this and then I add water um, and it smells so good. This, what scent is this? Honeysuckle, oh my God. Smells so good. Um, I generally, like I said, use natural, but sometimes you need the Clorox. So I'm gonna wipe out underneath the sink with these wipes.
So now I just have to take a break from uh, cleaning, although I barely got anything done, um, just to make the lunch, make the lunch, make lunch for the kids. I had to open the window because I'm like roasting having her on me and I should have wore a t-shirt, but so I'm gonna make the kids lunch and then my mom and dad are coming for lunch or my mom is and then I'll clean up after lunch and then do some more. Always lots of stuff to do, which is fine. I find though, um, I'm just getting over, I'm just getting over a bladder infection. Um, I took antibiotics yesterday. I had to actually go to the hospital um, because my it was Sunday and the doctor's office was closed and you can't leave a bladder infection. I was in so much pain um, and you don't want it to go like to your kidneys. So um, they gave me a dose, a single dose, and I took it yesterday, it made me feel awful. And I feel better today in terms of like my bladder, but now I'm like cramping. I just feel like I'm cramping in my lower back and my stomach. So I probably should take a little bit of a break. Um, Cause you know, I'm still healing and it's a balance between getting stuff done while also, oh thanks baby, while also I'm trying to heal properly, so. To struggle. Anybody want to come to my house and clean it for me? Leave in the comments below. You will come to Canada and just clean my house for me. I'll pay you. <laughs> I really need a cleaning lady. That would make my life so much easier, but I feel like no one would clean like I clean. Let me know in the comments below if you clean like I clean. Like take a toothbrush to your baseboards type of clean. Because I would do that. I have done that. <laughs> together. Olivia is sleeping but she should be waking up soon and Reese Bear is sleeping so um, I haven't got much done today honestly but that's like mom life um, but that's okay. I thought what I would do now is go through their toys because we do not have a basement, we do not have a playroom, our house is about 1600 square feet so we can get pretty overwhelmed with toys in this house and half of them they really don't play with so I'm going to go through both their toy bins and just kind of put some of the toys down the basement um, in a Rubbermaid container and then I can bring it up later um, when Reese is a bit older or if they get sick of the toys they have in a couple months I can switch them out. That way we don't get rid of stuff and they still get to keep all their toys but it doesn't, it's, sorry she's watching Trolls, it's not going to be cluttered upstairs because I hate clutter especially now that we have a third child. It's just like, oh, like it's, oh, it's overwhelming me. Like there's just, there's too much stuff. So I'm gonna speed through this part. You guys are gonna see me go through their stuff and put it all in a bin and take it downstairs. So, 
you can see that purple slime on the carpet and a big stain on the couch. So, note to parents, one sex sweetheart, children under the age of three and a half should not have slime. That was Olivia. So I gotta try and get that out now. Okay. So the vinegar, it actually takes it out. Vinegar and water, um, about three parts vinegar, one part water, but it is working with a scrub brush. Just gotta soak it a bit more. So now I am starting supper and we're just gonna have some healthy spaghetti. So I'm gonna get the ground beef. I finally went through, this is full of toys that were taking down the basement. So that's good. Um, we're gonna use our hamburger meat and some pasta and have some spaghetti. So I added the veg to the ground beef and then I just put salt and some other seasoning. Then I'll add the tomato sauce and we're waiting for the water to boil. And we always use Classico and I like the four cheese tomato sauce, it's so yummy. And if you want to get a little bit more out of it, that lady driving by, I could see me. <laughs> There's a lady that drove by and she's looking at me because I have a camera. <laughs> you just had a little bit of water, that was really funny. Add some water, shake it around to get the rest out, and you can dump it in. And it doesn't make it too watery or anything because if it's still cooking, it'll thicken on its own. So I'm just having mine with um, squash. So I have like squash and then the sauce. And then I just take like probably that much noodle just for taste. And it's just a healthier option. So that's my sepa.